Hi there, hello guys and gals, Jeff King here, back again in the Den of Tools, and today we've got the best of 2022. We got it all, all the Tool Bear Awards for you, so let's check it out. We're going to start off with, well, we're going to start off on a down note. We're going to talk about the, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. And that award goes to Porter Cable. There were a lot of contenders for this. Uh, Rigid was one. There were a few others. Black & Decker should have been an obvious one. But Porter Cable, of course, it's a brand uh, that I you know, I grew up with that a lot of us older folks really love and, and cherish. And DeWalt, or Stanley Black & Decker actually, really did a terrible thing to them. And then, and then when they couldn't use them anymore, they replaced them because they got a, a new precious love of their life with Craftsman. They kicked them over to Tractor Supply, and we've seen nothing. We've seen nothing for the brand for years. I think it may be three or five years. There was literally no updates to the brand. And then this year, we finally get updates, and all they are is a handful of, of rebranded Craftsmen. And uh, if you're in the Porter Cable line, I mean, it's at least something but it's a lot less than you deserve. So they get the, the I'm disappointed in you award. Next, we got the what were you thinking? I've said many a time, hey, and I'll say it again, if you're a brand, if you're a company looking to start a brand to launch in North America, call me and we'll talk about the name because there's some companies out there that don't understand. Yeah, they just don't understand. And case in point is the big red DCK company. They they just launched here in the U.S. And honestly, it looks like they might have a, a touch of a pedigree coming from where they came from that they they are considered, or at least their parent company, their parent company, Dong, yeah, uh, the, the, they do some professional grade tools. Now, if you want to contact them, you need to contact, reach out through their PR company. And that, of course, is the the. BJ group down down there. So if you want to talk about DCK, you got to contact Dong through the BJ group. The jokes write themselves. All right. Best accessories. Okay. We're ramping up here. Best accessories. And this is kind of like across the board. We're not looking at just tool bags. Just basically the company, the brand out there that is really changing the game or changing the game in 2022. And I got to tell you, every time I looked around, I was like, hey, that's cool. I looked down and there was their brand name. And it really kind of it got to a point where I'm like, what what aren't they going to surprise me with next? And that is Tough Built. Uh, I heard great things about the quality. Everything I've seen from them is quality. But on, but again, honestly, every time I turn around, I'm like, hey, that's a really cool sawhorse. Oh, it's it's tough built. That's a really cool bag with the locking. Oh, it, it's tough built. Oh, you know what? The uh, their whole system there, it's it's all tough built. The miter saw, it's tough built. The the razor blade that that's a, a scraper and a utility knife, it's tough built. And even my favorite, my new favorite, uh, folding portable work table. It's, it's tough built. Uh, they're just constantly coming out with some new stuff. The hammer they came out with, I showed you. It, I mean, at some times, I will say, the design gets a little too over the top, like extreme, crazy, like, uh, kind of, like they're trying to, they're trying too hard. But the reality is, they're innovating and they're making cool stuff and it seems to be working. So it, it's hard to fault them for that. All right, next up, best hand tools. Now this is kind of an all around kind of category. And I know this is gonna raise uh, raise a lot of ire, ruffle a lot of feathers as it were. And, and I gotta say it, it's Doyle over at Harbor Freight. Now, why did I pick Doyle? Well, there's a lot of hand tools to choose from out there, but here's a brand that is consistently making good stuff. Uh, they, they, they had the pliers and then they came out with screwdrivers and now they get a bunch of accessories. And can we talk about the vices? I mean, the, the, the vices have gotten unreasonably expensive. People like to always just like put in the comments, well, just go buy a used one off of Craigslist. Dude, I live on Craigslist. I'm constantly on Craigslist and Facebook marketplace, always looking for a hot deal to pick something up to add to the shop or to the house or find that cool four by four. I'm looking for a snowmobile right now. Almost had one, got away from me. But anyway, the, the fact is that uh, every time I turn around, Doyle's making something amazing. And here's the best part. A, you, you got the Harbor Freight service and support behind it, lifetime warranty on it. But check this out. What does Harbor Freight have 
all the time now. Every two or three months, they came out with this, anything under $20, 20% off if you're part of the inside track. Well, guess what? A lot of these Doyle tools, the Doyle pliers and such, are under $20. They're coming in at $19.99 and such. Well, that comes out to be a $14 tool. That's that's insane for the quality of these things. I've got a lot of pliers to choose from. And I know every time I go into Harbor Freight, I'm going to pick up one more Doyle product. And I just kind of seem to be doing that because I've not yet been disappointed with one. All right. Best Amazon only brand. Now, I, I talk about this because, A, the new delivery trucks are cool. I don't know if you've seen them on the road. <laughs> They're cool little things. But besides that, some people, you know what, as I get older, I kind of agree with them. Just don't like going into the store. Don't like dealing with people. The older you get, the less you enjoy people. So you know what, just being able to order off of Amazon and just get it and when you need it there, that, that can be pretty nice. Now up here in Montana, it takes a little while to maybe get one of those, even if you're Amazon Prime. But like when we're down in Vegas, I can sometimes get it same day. Same day delivery, that's insane. Well, the, I, the, a lot of brands out there on Amazon, but Nico is the one I keep going back to. Of course, Nico, a friend of the channel, they've sent us some stuff in the past, you know, and, and it's hard not to talk about their socket set here, uh, their, their half-inch drive master socket. It is, it's impeccable for the money. It's ridiculous. I mean, look at all those sockets. The ratchet I can do without, but you know what? The it, it At least it's there in case you need it, right? Always, always nice to have a spare ratchet I can throw at one of the cubs or something. I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that on camera. Um, anyway, <laughs> the fact of the matter is that, you know, the flip sockets, all this, kind of, they have a ton of great stuff, reasonable prices. And especially when it goes on sale, especially like if Prime Day hits, stuff like that, you can get some really top tier quality stuff there for not a lot of change. All right. Next up best tool truck alternative remember first rule of dead tools is stay off the truck unless it's an independent independence will make an exception for but remember <laughs> you don't want to get on the truck but what what can you do to not get on the truck well there's a lot of tool truck alternatives out there harbor freight's really killing it with the icon stuff there's uh, a bunch of other brands out there tecton's another one uh but you know what capri can't forget them the one the, the guys who started off is gear wrench and gear wrench you know what they i, I do feel that they kind of lost their way for a little bit but i feel like in the last year they're really finding their way back they've kind of clearly split into two separate lines where they've got some budget level entry level kind of gear wrench and then they've got the top tier above it like they always have and they're really focusing back on the quality on those tools case in point and and i got my hands on for the first time at sema and i gotta tell you somebody asked me recently said you know hey what if you only could have one you only could have one ratchet there was you you couldn't use any other ratchets you could only have one and i thought about it and you know which one i would want i would want this one the gear wrench 3 8 drive 90 tooth dual material it's got the comfort grip it's not just a flex head it's a locking flex head this is, so 3 8 drive, remember if you're going, a lot of people think, well, half inch is what you want. Half inch, most of the time if I'm picking up if I'm picking up a half inch socket, I'm also picking up an impact. It might be a light duty impact, it might be a heavy duty impact, but I'm grabbing the impact. But if I'm doing hand tools, I'm usually going for the 3 8 okay? And uh, this, there's just nothing you can say really negative about it. 90 tooth, it's a really great fine tooth. It's not exceptionally into like 120, which gets a little bit silly there. And, uh, and the locking mechanism, unlike a lot of the other ones, it isn't on the top, so you can't accidentally bump it. Well, I guess you can bump it, but it's on the side, and it's much harder to accidentally hit, I, I think, than the, than the top mounted buttons like you see on some of them. I'm really excited about that tool. It's, uh, you know, it, it's definitely one that uh, I think everyone should probably have in their tool drawer. All right, next up best hand tool warranty okay if you're gonna go out there and you and you and you break a tool now let's be honest a lot of people talk about this kind of stuff and i'm like do you usually lose tools or break them they're like yeah lose tools okay so just keep that in mind but if you have to warranty it you know tectin is fantastic you snap a picture you email them and a couple days you get a new tool that's fantastic but you know when i want my new tool i want it today and that's why i gotta go with Harbor Freight here. they The reason I fell in love with Harbor Freight is I got disillusioned with Craftsman. I got tired of going into Sears and being like, hey, my, my Craftsman tool broke, and them going, yeah, we don't carry that anymore. Well, it's still under warranty. Yeah, we don't, we don't have anything to replace it with. 
well, that one's just like it. It's just slightly different. Yeah, but it's not the same thing, so I can't. And I'm like, this is not the Sears I grew up with. Well, Harbor Freight saw that, stepped in and went the kind of no questions asked. Yep, just go grab it off the shelf. I'll ring you up real quick. You'll be out the door in under five minutes. That's the way warranty should work. That I mean, we can all agree on that, right? With now over, I think they've got 1,300 stores across the United States. I know they passed 1,000 a couple years ago. I, last I heard, I think it was around 1,300. So there's almost always a you know a Harbor Freight nearby. Uh, and, and if you live within you know spitting distance of a Harbor Freight, this would definitely have to be the way you would want to go. Next up, best power tool warranty. Well, Harbor Freight's made some changes and there's a bunch of other people doing good tools out there, but you gotta say flex, right? Well, if we get rid of the pop-up there, go away. The flex lifetime warranty. Lifetime on the tool, you get lifetime on the battery, but you only get three replacements. Although you shouldn't be going through three batteries, hopefully. Maybe, I mean, if you buy it young, if you're 20 years old and you buy into it, you might have a chance at that. But the fact of the matter is, on a power tool warranty, lifetime is insane. There's nobody who comes close to it. Rigid has their lifetime service agreement. It's not a warranty, folks, and they're doing everything they can to weasel their way out of it. Flex is just stand, standing up and being like, sure, we'll cover anything, okay? And, of course, not abuse. You run over it with your truck. They're probably, probably not going to cover it. You never know. But the fact of the matter is, at least until the end of this year, they're still offering that warranty. Originally, it was one year. 20, uh, 2021 only, then they extended it, so it's 2022. Will they extend it to 2023? Who knows? The fact of the matter is, if you're gonna buy a tool now and you buy a tool in 2022, you, that flex lifetime warranty means that they have to be a consideration. All right, now we're gonna talk about the top five tools by, or tool brands by tier, power tools here. And that is, the way we break it down here is we have five tiers. First tier is professional grade. This is for the guys who need all the power, all the performance, and they're hard on their tools. They, at the end of the day, you go back, you chuck it in the back of the truck, and you just take off. You know, if it gets rained on, it gets rained on. We use, use our tools, work hard, play hard, that kind of stuff. All right, next one is Value Pro. This is the guy who works just as hard, but, you know, he knows he's got to provide his own tools, that he's a business unto himself, and he takes care of those tools. So he doesn't, and he looks at the ROI. If I spend this much, I would need to make this much with that tool. So that's where you get into those, that second tier. They don't cost as much. They may not have quite the performance. They may not have quite the breadth of line, but they do what he needs them to do and he takes care of them. Right in the middle, we have the prosumer brand. This is the happy medium between professional grade performance and consumer grade pricing. Then under that, we have the DIY brands. These are the weekend warriors. I just needed for a project here and a project there. I want it to feel good about my tools, but you know what? I'm not gonna spend $500 on a tool. I'm not gonna spend all this money to get this one thing. I need to have, I need my money needs to go other places. I got kids soccer to go to and you know what I mean. And then at the very end, we got the budget. That's the bottom line. That's where it's like, well, I need to get this project done and I need a tool and I can't borrow it, I can't find it used, I can't rent it, so I gotta buy it. And I may never use it again, or, I, or I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm young, I'm just getting started, maybe I'm retired and I'm on a super tight budget. This is the case where money is the real deciding factor, and that's where those entry-level budget tools come in. And I gotta tell you, in recent years, that budget level has been getting worse and worse and worse. Ryobi, case in point, has been moving up. You know, they used to be the entry level tool. Now they're 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 doing they're doing they've basically raised the bar across the board for what an entry level is to the point where they're no longer an entry level tool. So our entry level choice here today is Westco. Now this is a brand found primarily on Amazon. I haven't found them anywhere else, to be honest. If you don't know who they are, I'll forgive you, but they're owned by Positec. Now Positec owns Works, they own Rockwell. I'm sure you've heard of those two. They own Cat, they own Blue Ridge. So West, Westco has become their entry level brand. Case in point, they've got uh, corded tools, they've got cordless tools, but look at this, they've got a great selection here. Uh, starting at $34. It's even cheaper. Look at this. If we go over here, that $34 has got a, uh, a coupon on it. it. takes it down to under $28. But they got some better tools also. If we come up here, they've got some brushless tools so you can grow into this brand. They've got a, a wide selection. They've got impact wrenches, circ saws, mini circs. They got recips. They got multi-tools. So there's choices there. All right, now we're stepping up to tier two. 
All right, this is the weekend where your DIY brand, and I'm gonna call that Ryobi here. Now Ryobi does kind of leak over into the prosumer, even maybe value pro line when you talk about their HP power tools. They're, they're all brushless, they're really high end, but they also have the lower end stuff and they have a huge selection of tools for the homeowner. Stuff you just won't see in any other brands. Look at these new tools they've got out here. We've got the snow shovel, we've got the, uh, it was a, a, a brushed hand vac. Um, you know, here's, look at this thing. Look at this thing. What is that? That looks like a tool out of a horror movie. That's not something you're going to see in any other brand. Uh, we got glue guns. We got soldering guns. They got all sorts of stuff. They even got a track saw. They got a track saw before Milwaukee came out with a track saw. Dude, you don't hold your breath on Rigid coming out with a track saw because... It's going to be a long time. I don't want to see that happen. So anyway, coming in solidly in that number two slot is Ryobi. Next up, just owning the prosumer market, just really kind of spreading their wings and being like, this is this is our place. And that's Cobalt Power Tools. Now, Cobalt, all their power tools are 24 volt. They're all uh, they're all brushless. They're they're excellent quality tools. They come with a five year warranty. And on top of that, if you need to bump into like the, maybe that Value Pro, at least performance, if not cost, you're looking at, they got the XTR line. So there's a few of them. You can really bump up and get some extra performance from them. This is a, a tool brand that just constantly is, is coming out with great tools. Maybe not as many as some of the other brands, but everything they come out with is well-engineered, well-thought-out, and performs excellently. All right, next up, Value Pro. And, and I gotta say, the brand that when I think Value Pro, the first brand that comes to mind is Matabo HPT, AKA the old Hitachi. In fact, if you don't know, H, M, HPT stands for Hitachi Power Tools there. And this is a brand that you can find it on Amazon, you can find it over at Lowe's, uh, maybe a few other places, but they, they're, they're, if there was anything negative you would say about them, it's that they don't update their models very often. But that's also a benefit because they come with a lifetime warranty. Now their lifetime warranty isn't in, isn't like other ones. It's not the life your lifetime. It's the lifetime of the tool. As long as they make that tool, it's under warranty. So the longer that tool that model sticks around, the more of a benefit, the more value you get from it because it's still under warranty. And that is something to think about. And on top of that, they're always on sale. They're always going on sale. I don't understand how they manage to do it, but every time I turn around, it's either at Lowe's or it's on Woot or it's over at, uh, at, at on Amazon. They're always showing up on sale somehow. Next up, boy, if you've been around the channel, you know that I'm not a Dewalt fanboy, and this is hard to, to admit. But you gotta you gotta look at this and go. Man, they were a they they were the giant. They were the 800 pound gorilla in the room. But that gorilla got old, got tired, started drinking, hanging out with bad people. It just they they got lazy. They just kind of sat on their laurels, and they they didn't live up to the brand name for many many years. And people like Milwaukee just passed them by and were eating their lunch daily. Well, Dewalt woke up last year, <laughs> and they came out swinging. We got the 12 volt brushless line, which is ridiculous. We've got the compact uh, atomic line, which is using full size power in a compact size. And then we've got the DCF 900, which basically just rocked the impact world and said, oh, okay, right, that's cute. I see what you guys are doing. Here, here's how the big boys do it. And they just came out, owned it, just just did it. All right, and, and as such, I, I got it. You know, they've got the Flexvolt series. They've got uh, 120 volt cordless circ saw. They've got recip saws that just eat wood like an angry beaver. It's, I have to admit it. I, do they have the great best service? No. Are the batteries overpriced? I think so. Do they fall down in a lot of places? I think the brush tools are a joke. But the XR, the Compact, the 12 volt, it, they're just the brand to go to, okay? All right, moving along. Best European brand. Okay, so you know at the Oscars they got to have the best foreign cinema. We get the best European brand, and the best European brand is this is a hard choice. I really wanted to pick Wera. I love the Wera screwdrivers, but it's a very narrow amount of tools there. And I thought if I could only put one European brand in my toolbox, it would be Knipex. 
It just would. Knee picks, knee picks. Anyway, fact of the matter is, uh, they're they're just ridiculous. The the quality of the tools are all their tools perfect. No, I've there are a couple of tools I picked up. Uh, case in point, the locking pliers. I picked up locking pliers. I'm like, doesn't feel like knee picks tool. But man, the a lot of their other stuff, you just pick it up and you're like, that that that's you know that's engineering. That's how you do it right there. Everyone else, this this is how you do it. Uh, and uh, I, I and a lot of people, you know, they didn't really go after the American automotive uh, industry in the way that a lot of tools have, and yet they're slowly creeping in. I'm constantly finding, you know, uh, guys who are sitting there and they open up the box and a whole bunch, it, it, it's all Knipex in there. Because why? Because they work, they're well engineered, they're good tools, and you know what? Sometimes they go on a decent sale. All right. We talked about European, we got to talk about what's the best in the U.S. And of course, I wanted to say right. I wanted to come out with right tools, and I got to give them an honorable mention. They're fantastic tools. If you want a top tier handmade wrench or American made wrench and stuff, you got to go with right tools. But they are pricey and they're not affordable for most people. So I didn't feel right putting them in here. Then my next thought was obviously, well, channel lock. Channel lock's great, but I'll be honest. In recent years, there's a lot of channel lock tools I've picked up, and I went, this doesn't feel like an American-made tool. Most of the channel lock stuff is great. I have a lot of old channel lock. You know, it's all the handles that turn that kind of teal kind of color and stuff. I love channel lock. I really do. I'm a channel lock fan bear. But uh, the, uh, the, the it's got to go to S-Wing because I've never picked up an S-Wing and been, been like, well, that sucked. <laughs> Every time you hit pick up, it, like I want to hit something. This feels like something I want to hit things with. They're great tools. They're fantastic tools, uh, and they're always coming out. Look at this. These these things are great. Uh, I'll put links to all this this stuff here that we talk about. I'll put links down below so you can do your own research and whatnot. But every time I pick up an S wing, uh, you know, I was at the uh, the hardware show and National Hardware Show a few years ago, and they had this ridiculous looking hammer i saw that i'm like that looks like a joke it's an aluminum hammer the body's aluminum but then the face and the back i believe are titanium anyway or yeah i believe they're titanium so they can make it less expensive uh and still give you the feel or the the shock resistance of a titanium they're they're very they're innovative and they're made in the usa there what more do you need to say about it all right Best brand to watch out for in 2023. This is a new brand. I've talked about them before, but a lot of people still don't know who they are. And that's Durofix. You're like, who the heck is Durofix? Well, Durofix, you ever heard of AC Delco power tools? You see the Earthquake XT cordless tools at Harbor Freight? A lot of the tool companies, and there was other ones out there, ones I'm, they don't want me to disclose. But I, I had a chat with them at SEMA. They've been making power tools for other companies for years. They start off as a family-run company. They've grown. They've gotten. They've become quite exceptional. They've got a twenty. Or uh, let's see, the twenty-volt line. They've got a twelve-volt line. There's the one that looks just like the AC Delco's there, and oh, there's the twenty-volt. And now the sixty-volt line. Let me tell you, they know how to put down some power. These are ridiculously powerful tools for the money. Uh, you know, and if you look at them, I, I know I looked at that one. I'm like, that looks just like the Ingersoll Rand. And they're like, no, it's different. It can run off of one battery or you can run off of two. They got a lot of different options, a lot of cool tools here. I don't think I, they even have all of them displayed that they actually offer here on their website. I'm ho I just talked to them the other day. Hopefully we're going to get some more information about the company and where they're going in 2023. So stay tuned. Next up best impact brand this is the brand that that in 2022 and, and and beyond has made the industry change all right you could sit there you can get hit you can get hit but this is the this is a company after getting hit enough times the industry is like we got to move we got to get out of the way we can't take we keep taking hits like that and it's harbor freight it, but not just harbor freight hercules brand i know I was excited when Hercules came out and then they kind of stalled. They just didn't go anywhere. But you know what? 
the the miter saw it's really made a change that table saw it was good when it came out then they updated it with the ratchet so it's got the same kind of fences as the dewalt it's less expensive uh it's affordable they've got you know the the all sorts of great power tools the grinders are ridiculous the decent better than decent recip now they're coming out in brushless in almost all of these tools they've got a huge 12 volt line now that i know a lot of mechanics are picking up and using but the one that really just this year that basically rang the bell of milwaukee was the oh again companies if you want to talk about branding names call me but the ultra torque it next year there'll be the mega torque and then the ultra mega super torque uh, reminds me of a Sharknado video. Anyway, but the fact of the matter is, bizarre naming aside, this thing brought the numbers. You don't believe me? Go check out our friends over at Torque Test Channel. Fantastic channel. They put it through the paces. They were stunned. You know what? On top of that, they brought out a 12-volt battery. You saw I did a teardown on the battery, and <laughs> it got a little sparky, but we found out it's got the same cells as the Milwaukee high-end Samsung high discharge 21700 cells just packed in there for half the price. The, the impact itself came out at what 225 then went a 199. I think I saw on sale for like 175 or 180 for a, a, a over 1k impact. That is ridiculous. And they got the batteries to back it up and oh look, they added a 5-year warranty, 3-year warranty on the batteries. That is just everyone. All the other tool companies out there are like, well, damn, <laughs> you know, you got it. It's like, let me put it this way. If, you, if you've been following the car industries, you may not like Hyundai, but when they came out and Kia, they came out that 10 year warranty. The rest of the industry was like, it's a phase. It'll go away. Harbor Freight's been here for 40 years. They've been updating, doing the good, better, best for the last six years. It's not a phase folks. The industry is going to have to adapt, and that's just good for everybody, even if you're not buying in the Harbor Freight brands. All right. Who wins it all? Who's the king of tools for 2022? Again, I can't believe I'm saying this. It's DeWalt. The grandpappy of tools. I, I've been around. I was in the industry building houses when they launched. And everyone looked at it like, well, it's just overpriced Black & Decker because that's what it is. And they kept going and they kept innovating. And they'd take some time and they'd innovate. And then they got to be the de facto, the go-to, the number one tool company. And then they fell asleep on the job. But last year they woke up and this year they brought it home. 12-volt brushless, compact brushless, over the top, the FlexVolt line, huge XR tools. They, you can buy them almost anywhere. You can buy them at Home Depot. You can buy them at Lowe's. My, you, my local ranch and supply store there's, is bleeding black and yellow. It's everywhere. You can get them online. You can get them everywhere. It's, it's, you can't ignore them anymore. They brought the power. They brought the portability. They've got all the juice. They've got the power stack batteries. They've got a 12-volt that's more powerful, 12-volt ratchet that's more powerful than most people's 20-volt. There's, you just can't ignore them. And that's why they got they get tool brand of the year. I have a lot of issues with DeWalt. If you've been around the channel, you know that I'm not a huge fan of them. Previously, hopefully the service will pick up, but if if I had to if I was forced, like, hey, you gotta buy one brand and you gotta own it for the rest of your life. Well, I might get flexible because of the, the warranty. But the reality is, right now, today I'd probably have to choose DeWalt. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, before you go, I'm going to do, I got a survey going over in the community section. Go and check it out. I'm asking for your favorite store, Home Depot, Lowe's, Harbor Freight, Menards, Ace, your local uh, hardware store. Don't, don't try to chime out the one you want to win. Think about it. In the last year, where have you gone most? Where have most of your dollars gone? And that's the box I want you to check. So go check it out. Anyway, I have, hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.